Hey, what's up guys? Daily challenges for today. We have hawks, we have bluegill, we have bird shooting contests. I'm also going to show you some locations where you can get some jewelry to sell at a fence in case you don't have any. And, and let's go ahead and take a look at the list. We have bird shooting contest, bluegill caught, distance dragged a non-player NPC. You have finished showdown in any series, hawks plucked, you have items sold to a fence, and then players killed from cover and showdown. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Hawks. Obviously, there's numerous locations where you can find these. The place I'm going to go ahead and recommend is over here at Twin Stack Pass, kind of in the heartland. You will see at this location here, there is a Hawk up at the top of the rock. Obviously, you don't want to shoot him when he's on, because chances that he's going to end up falling down the mountain is going to be pretty slim. He might just get stuck up there, so you want to go ahead and shoot the rock underneath him, force him to fly off. Now, I would recommend if you have high velocity rounds, since you get greater distance, or find some kind of, you know, rifle or a repeater that has good range, because they will fly up pretty high. If not, you may have to chase them until they lower their flight trajectory to uh, go ahead and take them out. So that's basically my go-to spot. You can also find these in New Austin flying around, and you will also be able to find them at Rathskiller Fork. Obviously, if you do go to Rathskeller or any time, you want to try and find these birds during the daytime. So I ended up killing him. I ended up coming back. You can see he spawned back at the same mountain peak. So that's a pretty definite spot where you can go ahead and find the hawks. Now, I figured I'd go ahead and talk about this one, which is going to be the bird shooting contest. Unfortunately, you see at the bottom, it says only persistent posse leaders can join this. So you would have to be in a persistent posse, unfortunately. Um... That's going to be kind of difficult. If you don't have a persistent posse, try to find somebody in the lobby to join them and maybe message them to see if they're going to go ahead and do that. Now, if you're looking for bluegill, you'll notice if you have cheese bait, it'll say that rock bass and bluegill are the highly common fish that you will be able to catch with it. Although you can catch bluegill with pretty much any kind of lure. So you can catch bluegill at the Dakota River, the upper Montana River, anywhere around the Flatiron Lake, pretty much any body of water in this game. They are pretty common. Now you just saw in that picture what the bluegill looks like and to help you so you're not catching all other kinds of fish you want to go to the lake or the river turn on your eagle eye and try and pick one out in the water and you see right there that's the shape of them they're kind of shorter fatter fish their body has the same consistency as far as size from the head all the way to the tail so it's going to be a lot easier for you to go ahead and pick those out so you can pinpoint those and you're not wasting time with other fish if you want to go ahead and bang this one out pretty quickly. Now as far as locations, if you're missing some jewelry, right under the O and Bayou, there's a couple of jewelry spots. Braithwaite Manor, there is some jewelry upstairs. You also have a piece of jewelry at that gang hideout over there in uh, Cumberland Forest. And you can also find two at Hanging Dog Ranch at this location here. But you can also go ahead and rob anybody from NPCs people at ambushes, and also people at hideouts. So you should be able to get three of those, no problem, if you don't already have some. Now, as far as the last challenge, dragging a non-enemy, I mean, non-player NPC, just make sure that there are red dots, as you can see on the screen. Drag them. Go very slow so you don't kill them. Thanks for watching. See you next time.